Well, the persecution of Christians in Nigeria by the Muslims keeps raging on. Uh, I don't expect anything else from Islam, considering the fact that Muslims are spiritual descendants of Ishmael. And what does Genesis chapter 16, verse 11 to 12 say about Ishmael? Well, he's a wild man. And that's perfectly a description, uh, certainly a description of the Muslims over in Nigeria, as seen as what they're doing to Christians. I mean, every single day there's like a fresh new batch of, of terrorist attacks against Christians by these Muslims in Nigeria. Every single day, there's always new examples of, of attacks, and it's been going on for many, many years. And of course, the mainstream media ignores it all the time, the left-wing mainstream media, because it would contradict the narrative of the peaceful Islamic society being subjugated or whatever. And I'm not for all these wars in the Middle East. I'm not for all these wars against Muslim countries. Obviously, they're just, you know, the results of, of a military-industrial complex. I'm not uh, supporting of those. I think the Iraq war was ridiculous and should, should have never happened in the first place. But it's so, you know, this idea that, that oh, Muslims, they're, you know, every single time there's a terrorist attack, it's because of, of Western imperialism. Well, that definitely can be true in some cases, but uh, the mass genocide of Christians in Nigeria at the hands of these barbaric, bloodthirsty Muslims uh, contradicts that narrative. And again, every single day, there's new, there's a new examples of, of, I mean, over the past couple of months, you know, there have been hundreds of Christians killed in Muslim attacks in Nigeria. Uh, why? Because again, Genesis 16, verse 11 to 12, Ishmael is a wild man. Okay, and Muslims again are spiritual descendants of Ishmael. This is the fruit of Islam for you. You can read verses like Surah 9 5, uh, Surah 8 12 talks about, you know, which clearly talk about, you know, casting terror into the hearts of the unbelievers, uh, you know, uh, counting, you know, killing all the polytheists, which in Islamic discourse, Christians are quote unquote polytheists because we believe in the biblical Godhead. Uh, one God, three members, the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. And of course, you know, polytheism. Obviously, Christianity, biblical Christianity rejects polytheism, but Muslims still consider us polytheists uh, because they don't understand the Godhead. But yeah, I just want to show you that. So the, the persecution of Christians in Nigeria rages on at the hands of these murderous Muslims, which you know doesn't surprise me considering Genesis 16 verse 12, how it describes Ishmael. So I wanted to point that out. And of course, the mainstream media just keeps ignoring it because it contradicts their liberal agenda. So may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.